What's going on, guys? We are out here in the Everglades. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to get down here. Got about an hour and a half of daylight, then an hour and a half back home. But let's hope we can make this trip worth it in an hour and a half. Uh, gonna start out fishing a small little swim bait. Uh, in this area, this is where I caught that pike killy fish a couple weeks ago. If you remember that video for the last time I was down here in the Everglades. So I'm going to try to get maybe at least one more of those. That's a pretty cool fish. If not, last time I was here, there were some really, really small fish kind of on the bottom that I really couldn't catch with my larger lure. So we're going to size it down at least to start out. Hopefully we can get uh, something over here. And then if not, we'll kind of hop spots and try somewhere else here in the Everglades. So let's give it a shot. All right, so there's the uh, one inch EPF swim from Euro Tackle on a 164 ounce jig head with, I believe it's a size eight hook. I could already see some small fish down there and I believe I could see at least one pike killifish. Kind of tough to tell what these fish are from so far away, but we'll flip. That was not a good cast. I am hung up in a tree. That was an awful first cast. All right, got it back. So <laughs> let me make a better first cast. Let's reel this thing on in. And let's see if there's something out there that wants to take a bite out of a little swim bait. Oh, got him. I don't know what that is, it's something bigger. Let's try to get him on in here. Oh, this is my extra ultralight from Daiwa. So any sort of fish puts up a nice fight on this. Especially in this kind of heavier cover. Alright, what is this? Is this an Oscar? Alright, first fish of the day is an Oscar. Alright, so here's the first fish of the day. A pretty small sized Oscar cichlid. These guys get a lot bigger and have cut them a lot bigger, but he engulfed that EPF swim. So we got one fish, not the one I'm targeting. So we'll get it back and we'll see if we can get that pike, uh, pike killifish. Got him, lost him. Okay, there's a school of pike killifish down there. They're not overly interested in this, but they will hit it occasionally. Come on. They're small though. Come on. Mm. Got him. Lost him. Come on now. And I believe that just spooked the entire school of about a dozen of them. Because I don't see them anymore. So a couple bites. But they're similar, at least from what I could see, they're similar to Gar. Where they won't just attack, swallow, and swim. They'll kind of just kind of bite onto it. And keep it in their mouth for a little while before actually like really committing to eating it. So maybe we wait for that school to come back. And maybe I'll be luckier next time. Got one. Fish on. It's something different though. Uh, try to get him on up over here. Is this a spotted sunfish? Spotted sunfish. All right, so I walked over to the other side of the bridge I was fishing on. Try there for a little bit. My first cast pulled out a nice sized spotted sunfish. So we'll get this guy back. Keep fishing, hopefully we can find that school of, uh, what was I looking for? The, uh, the pike killifish. Oh, yeah, let's get this guy back. Oop. 
Another bite right there. It's, the water's really shallow there, like a couple inches. So there can't be any big fish out there. Oop, fish on. What is this? Probably should have brought something a little bit heavier. Because fishing this extra ultralight over here is not a great idea. What is that? Is that a Mayan? Or an Oscar? It's a Mayan. Third species of the day. Mayan cichlid. Alright, Mayan cichlid. My least favorite of these cichlid species. Probably my least favorite uh, fish species of all time. Just because I think they're pretty ugly. They're a nuisance. Don't really like them too much. So we'll get this one back and hopefully this is the only one we get for the day. All right, not much else going on over here. Caught those couple fish early, but the water is very calm and very shallow here. So I think catching those fish might have spooked all the other fish if there were any other fish here. So I think I'm gonna move back to that other side where I saw those pike killy fish earlier. Oh, just as I say that, I get another fish. But yeah, after this one, I'm gonna move over to the other side and then we'll try to target those guys again. What is this? Yeah, Mayan cichlid. So quick pick of this guy, we'll get him back, and then we'll switch to the other side. Oh, got one. But well, that's not what I wanted. It's a little juvenile mine cichlid. So when they're smaller like this, let me show them off to you this way. I think they look a lot prettier, but still I do not want to catch these. I want to catch something, something a little bit more exotic that I don't get to catch too often. It's got it. Oh. These guys are so annoying. They're hard to get to bite, and once they bite, they're hard to hook. Got him! No! Come on! I had him. Felt the way he came out of the water, but he dropped off. They're still there, though. There's still, I don't know, eight of them over there? Oh, come on. I also switched up to a smaller jig head with a smaller hook, so it's a little bit harder to cast now. That's a bigger fish. Oh, that's not... What is... What is that? Whatever it was, it took my lure. Couldn't tell what that was. Shaped like a mine or a jaguar, I think, but whatever it was, it definitely spooked all those pike killifish around here, so I'm going to have to retie. Probably wait a few minutes for those guys to come back. But they're over here. They're biting a little bit. Now we got to catch one. Alright, figured it can't hurt to try something new, so it's the uh, 1-100 ounce jig head, jig head I was just using. This time I put on a, uh, a Euro Tackle Y-Fry. So I think it is, I think it's slightly longer, I think it's like 1.2 inches, whereas the uh, EPF Swim I was using was 1 inch. But, I don't know, They're, they were biting the EPF Swim, hopefully they bite this just as well, maybe even better. And we'll see if we can finally catch one. Something bit it. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Second cast with the EPF, not the EPF, the Euro Tackle Y Fry, and we got a Pike Killifish. Let's go. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. And he 
absolutely engulfed that Y fry. This is such a beautiful fish. Native to, I know Belize and a couple other countries in Central America. Even though it's called a pike killifish, I don't think it's a killifish. Well, I know it's not a killifish. I just can't remember if it's in the if it's in the live bear or in the uh, top minnow family. But either way, it's such a cool, just like little micro predator. I mean, let me show you like the jaws and the mouth and the teeth on this guy. It's just a perfect little miniature predator. Engulf the Y fry. Let me try to get this out of here without getting bit. Might have to. I don't want to hurt him too bad. I'll try to do that off camera, but we, we got one. Perseverance pays off. Pike killifish is in my hand. Such a cool little fish. So we'll get this guy back and we'll, we'll keep fishing. Yeah, so who would have thought a little change like that would have paid off? I fished here for about an hour with that EPF swim. Switched over to the uh, the Y fry and on the second cast out of this I think it was out of that algae kind of right there that little pike killifish just completely ambushed it so Even though the EPF swim was working and under normal circumstances I would have kept with it I am so glad I switched to something else so the pike killifish It's not a new one for the life list because I caught one here two weeks ago like I mentioned in the beginning But I just wanted to come down here and catch hopefully some more at least one more because it is a really, really cool looking fish. So I'm glad we got one today. Got something small. What is this thingy? What? Oh, a little juvenile warm mouth. Cool. All right, there are tons of little fish down there. Most of them, though, look to be either African jewel cichlids or uh, Mayan cichlids. I haven't, I haven't seen any native sunfish besides for that one spotted I caught earlier. So this little native warmouth sunfish is a very cool little catch. So new species for the day. We'll get that guy back, and we'll we'll keep jigging this little Y fry around, trying to see what else we can get out of here. Got one little guy. Oh, another pretty cool looking little warm mouth. This guy has some nice colors on him. So I believe this will be our last one. Let me show him off to you real quick here. Because I really do like the colors on this warm mouth. Some really, really nice red on the body here. But yeah, another fish on the Y fry. The Y fry produced better than the uh, swim bait did today. But yeah, quick pick. We'll get that guy back and let's wrap it up. Alright guys, so that is going to do it. Ended up spending the whole day essentially in this one spot here. Uh, did pretty well, I would say. So between the uh, Euro Tackle EPF Swim and then this Euro Tackle Y Fry, uh, these little soft plastics did a number on these fish today. Um, I'm a little, I would say I'm a little surprised that the Y Fry did better than the EPF Swim, just because the EPF Swim is, a, I, think, I think, a little bit smaller than this, and those fish should have probably went after it a little bit more aggressively. Usually the smaller the bait, the easier it is for the fish to swallow in. They're a little more aggressive with it and whatnot, but the best thing that happened me, to me today was when I broke off that EPF swim on that kind of mystery fish. If I didn't break off, I would just kept fishing the EPF swim, and who knows what would have happened. Maybe I wouldn't have even caught the, uh, the pike killifish, but because I got broken off, I made the switch to this little uh, Y fry, and second cast, I got my target species in that pike killifish. And then we got a, uh, a plethora of other little panfish here in the last 20 minutes. So an hour or so of the EPF swim produced a good amount of fish. 20 minutes here with the Y fry at the end produced, I think, a better number and I think a better variety of fish. Then we got more, maybe not, maybe not more species. But anyway, small soft plastics did, did a number on these fish today. We got the pike killifish, which is such a cool little fish. So the hour and a half drive down here 
ended up being well worth it. So hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.